morals. She'd been ran through through the streets, you know, you know, doctors done had her, businessmen done had her, lawyers done had her, ball players done had her, all kinds of guys done had her, engineers done had her, some, you know, famous people done had her. She'd been for the streets for years, ever since she was 18 years old. Now all of a sudden she meets you, she wanna act like she a good girl. I, Oh, I don't go over guy's house on the first day. I don't do this on the first day. But she got, she been in guys, she been in Lamborghinis on the first night after the club, after a brunch and <laughs> Slurpee from 7-Eleven. She's willing to give the Slurpo. The Slurpo. But she can't give you a hug. She can't come over to your house and watch a movie. She got to get them. She want to act like she brand new now that she's ran through. She about to hit the wall. The other guys got her for free and then she wants you to pay for leftovers. You, you've been working hard all your life. She says she got to get to know you more. She got to get to know if you go if she can control you. She got to get to know if you're going to put her on a pedestal even though she been ran through. She not going to tell you she been ran through. She don't even want to talk about her past that much. She hates she can't stand talking about her past. If you ask her, she'll tell you about her past. But it's going she going to be turned off because she don't want you to know that she's been ran through. She gonna say the past don't matter. What matters is now. They got my they got my body for free. They got my body for free. You're gonna have to. I have to know what you're working with. You got my body for free. She got, they got my body for free. You have to, I have to know what you work with. I want to know this, y'all. Are you going to put me on a pedestal? I need to know that you like me a lot. And hopefully you don't know your worth that much if you have a certain lifestyle that I want to be a part of. Hopefully you don't know your worth. Because if you know your worth, then I'm not going to be able to control you. And if I can't control you, that's a big problem. That's a big problem if I can't control you. That's a very big problem. That's what it is. When she, all of a sudden she got these morals. All of a sudden. She got a lot of morals now. But she ain't had the morals five, three years ago, two years ago. Now I'm finally running her mind that, wow, I've never got no love in my life. Now I'm going to act like I got morals. I'm going to act like I got morals now. Now that I met a good man, I'm going to act like I got morals. And he going to get the leftovers. And he going to get it when I want him to get it. She did everything for the other guys. The other guys that was married and had girlfriends, she did everything. Everything. She did everything. That just goes to show you that she belongs to the streets. She looked innocent. Many more of her, of ones like that, look innocent, just like her. Many of them look innocent. They not innocent, man. They, the devil comes in all kinds of forms and fashions. I'm here to let you know, man. Be careful. Be careful because they coming after men with money. They can sense that you got a woman in your life. They're trying to break that up. They don't get a kick out of single men unless they go, unless you have 
a certain lifestyle that they can drain. And they can drain that lifestyle. Once they drain that lifestyle, they gone. They don't really care about nobody but they self at all. They don't care about nobody but they self. So the only thing you can do is focus on yourself and God, man. Act like you got broke. If you meet a you meet a woman that if you meet a woman that you like and then she's acting real nice. But she know she can see your lifestyle. She see you already done told her your degrees, you done told her your career, she can Google you how much you make. You ain't gotta act, you know. I'm just saying, people know how to fake, even if they have money. You think they want to spend their money? No, they don't want to spend their money. They want to spend your money, bro. So the solution to this is you have to act like you broke. Not immediately. You know, however you live your lifestyle, live it. I'm just trying to save you. If you don't want to get waste your time, because the only thing she's going to bring you is a fake hugs and affection. She probably don't have a sense of humor. She's not going to help you build anything. If she do, she going to want to take everything in the end. You know, act like you're having hard times for a month. See how she act. Tell her you're about to lose your heart, your car, your house, everything. Tell her you did everything possible. See what she say. Put on your best acting job. See what she say. See what she say. See what she say. See if she started acting like she drifting off and she stressed out or she something came up and you know, they make up all kinds of excuses when they think, you know, if they just using you for your lifestyle. And then you telling them you about to lose that type of lifestyle? If they don't act supportive, that's the time when they're supposed to show out. They're supposed to show how much they love you. That's the best time to show somebody how much you love them is when they're down. That's the best time to show That's the best time to show how much she love you is when you down. Anybody can act like you their favorite. They can act like they support you while you up. But will she act like she's supporting you and really care for you and interested in you if she she, if you really convince her that you're about to lose everything. That's how you do it. If you can convince her that you're about to lose everything, then you on. You on to something. You are on to something. If you can convince her Every man can't convince them because every man don't do it. They just go years and years dealing with a woman just because she got a nice body, nice face. That's getting old, yo. That's getting old. Don't you need more than that? You need more than that. You need more than that right now. Anyway, I'm Alan Williams, the Millionaire. Subscribe to all my YouTube pages. Subscribe to all my Instagram pages. Alan Rillionaire. You know how to spell it. R-E-A-L-L-I-O-N-A-I-R-E. -E. That's how we're going to do it. Alan A-L-L-A-N. It's a wild world, y'all. For the men and the women. I'm just talking about the men right now. Women, a lot of fake men out here too. Unfortunately, most of you women are attracted to men who are fake and who do not like you. 
who do not have you in their best interest because most of you women want what you can't have. So you'll never have what you want. You know, you'll be always be playing in a position to play victim because you're always going to put the guy who really loves you or really interested in you or have good intentions for you in the friend zone. Act like you're giving him a favor. Getting this attitude with him. Taking your anger out on him because the bad guy, the guy who, not even a bad guy, the guy who didn't, wasn't interested in you. Not a bad, he just wasn't interested in you. And he just, you kept throwing that at him, so he took it. You threw the behind at him, he took the behind. And then left you behind. Holler at y'all later. Alan Williams, the Reagan.